first I'd like to welcome everyone um, to Florida. I apologize for the weather, but it is not in my control. Uh, the heat and the thunderstorms are Florida, so that's, we, we have no choice in that matter. I also would like to recognize that we have so many international visitors. Uh, I'm so impressed by that. We have, I think, five families from Australia traveling so many hours, and a family from Malaysia and Oman, and families from Spain, and, and certainly from the West Coast. Um, I would read all these welcomes, but I don't know how to pronounce them all, so um, I just want to say how thrilled we are that you're all here. The director is named as PMS Conference. And you know, on that note, please, um, with the people from other countries, like, sometimes their English isn't great, um, sometimes my English isn't great, but um, I think if you could just reach out to them and, you know, just try to communicate as you can because um, it's a challenge for them to come and listen and not totally understand everything, so, and we don't have... Uh, translation yet, what, but we are we are going there in 2016, I'll tell you, for sure. Um, so, if you could do that. Okay, so first I want to just point out some people who you should meet, you should talk to, you have any questions, um, any comments, all the good things can go to the people on this board, all the negative things, I'll introduce you to Barb later. So, um, <laughs> So first, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Curtis Rogers, our honorary chair. I know he's here. Could you stand up, Curtis? <laughs> Dr. Katie Phelan, I'm not sure she needs an introduction. Yeah. And, and next time, I think we don't really need to have a conference. We just need to have a photo session with Katie. I mean, I think that's, that's what we do, mostly. I'm Sue, you know my son's name is Sam, you see him around here on a bike. He just turned 20, so I'm very traumatized by that, and um, going into adulthood. So, And uh, our Vice President Nick Asendelf is holding the door back there. Our Secretary uh, Veronica Frenzy, all the way from Dallas. Veronica, are you in? Okay, she's late. Please mark it down. <laughs> um, Patty O'Boyle. And we're really, really excited. I mean, you know we're parent-run. We have um, primarily parents who volunteer and do so much work. But we're really, really excited that we have our first board of directors person from the rare disease space, uh, Mary Cobb. Mary? I'm not sure Mary has realized what she's gotten into, but um, don't, don't tell her quite yet. Um, we also have Van Daughtry from North Carolina, Van. And our grandmother on the board, proud grandmother, Terry Dutz. Terry? And we also have our one international person uh, from Canada, Stephanie Leclerc. Stephanie? She's still, she's, she's still sleeping. No. And also Brian Stack. One of the things I wanted to do today, which is Perhaps more special to me than anyone else, but I'm so thrilled that we have almost every former board member in this room. Oh, unless they're asleep, but I mean they're here. And um, I, I would like them to stand up as well. Rory Jones. Susan Young. Randy Riddle. Thank 
Thank you guys so much. It really means a lot for us, um, for you to be here. Okay, so, then, I'd like, we have a few openings here, as you can see, but I'd like to introduce you to um, our committee chairs. Geraldine Bliss for research, you'll see a lot of her today. She can stand up, though you're in the middle. Megan is the registry chair, you know Megan. Cynthia Schatz is the membership chair, she cannot be with us this weekend. Priscilla is the finance chair. Angie Foster is um, chairing our new legislature. development and, and different communication things so um, I, I really urge you to talk to someone about getting involved and I hope that you do because it's it's fun right Brandon? it's fun <laughs> okay the staff I don't know I don't think they're out here but I, I know Barbara's here Barbara Cruz executive director of the corner of the inside here <laughs> problems she's right there Barbara okay so the, this is the first time really and we did it last time but this is the first time we really um, uh, tried to get some sponsors to the conference and um, we did a pretty good job and I would like to recognize two sponsors who are platinum sponsors Cedar Street Advisors in Brookfield So thank you so much. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. So we have more parents involved, and uh, as you see the the guys running around with the green, light green T-shirts, this is the AV team, and I think Rick named them the Fab Five. And so if you're old enough, you know what that is, the Fab Five. So. Um, Rich Lomas, my husband, stand up, please. Uh, you know, this is a uh, real indication of how exciting this is. The live streaming, as some of you know, is on the app. We have an app. Who knew? Okay. And um, we. We're looking at Facebook yesterday, and someone from Slovakia, I think, said, oh, the live stream is fantastic. And we were like, what? Uh, and from Vienna, uh, it's just, if we get numbers, I'm not sure we can get numbers of that, but um, it will be really amazing how many people we're touching from Orlando. It's really exciting, and thank you guys for doing it. I know it's going to be a long few days. So this is just an example of how we are growing. So the numbers, you know, sometimes we say we had 23 families in 1998, 26, I don't know, it's around that ballpark, but these are our numbers. And these are people who come to the conference, families attending the conference. So you can see over these 16 years, I was talking to the group from Madrid, and we have 15 families in our uh, membership from Spain. They have 80 in their group. And um, so we know that this is totally um, so much bigger as far as diagnosed cases. I don't know the, we, we don't truly know the statistics, but I think we try to figure out the statistics, and we think there's just even in the United States, a few thousand who have not been diagnosed. So uh, that just shows you how really, really, um, you know, we're getting the word out and the scientific community, the medical community getting the word out and we're getting the kids diagnosed. So like I said yesterday to the new families, you know, this is three full days of sort of craziness. It's a lot, a lot of information. It's a lot of trying to learn things, going places. It's crazy. It's overwhelming. But just do what you can. Ask every question you can think of. I mean, there's a lot of questions around 
um, the science, there's a lot of questions around the foundation, there's a lot of questions um, in general about medical information. Ask the question. Ask it. We want you to ask it. Um, although in, in, in the first morning session we don't want you to ask questions until the end, but okay. We, we want to ask the questions today. We have a session at the very end of the day for all your questions. Because it's such a tight schedule today, just at the end of the day for your research questions. But please, please ask them because there's a lot of information out there that could be right, could be wrong, and, and we want to clear it up for you. So one of the things I want to say before I turn it over is, you know, in 1998, with Katie and Curtis, it was about the family, right? In 2014, it's still about the families. No matter what happens, no matter what the science says, no matter what the fundraising is, no matter what the weather is, this is about our families and our kids. It will never change. I, I got a phone call from a mom who hasn't come for eight years, and she just started crying on the phone because she missed us and the bond that she has and the special relationships that we all have. Um, and you saw it last night at the meet and greet of Sweet over three days. Our goal, our mission, is to help our kids. That's the bottom line. There is, you know, all of this information is fantastic, and I hope you all um, learn a lot and share a lot, but our mission is about our families will never change, and I hope you know that. 